think most people are very afraid of what is considered the unknown. Um, and I think they would rather not know than know. But I, I'm the opposite. I would rather know. And, and we may never even fully know, but we may uncover more and more that will allow us to sort of debate and ponder these unknowns and, and try to get to the bottom of them. Is this something to be scared of, something to respect, something to, how, how do you feel about it? I mean, is it, is it a scary thing? Is it a freaky thing? I mean, it, it's scary. Always, always the unknown is kind of terrifying to people, but it's also interesting at the same time. Um, ghosts, you know, you have to think of our own realm of possibility. What happens, you know, when we die? Is, is it our choice to stay behind? Are we forced to stay behind? What, what could possibly cause someone to be stuck on a physical plane rather than moving on? There's so many religious aspects to what could possibly happen to any one person, and that, that's what drives me. That's, that's what I love. I want to know. I want to find out, and that's why I love going on new investigations and seeing new things and incorporating more information to try and help me, you know, one plus one equals two. Maybe solve it in my own mind, make me feel comfortable, but also maybe help the person who, who's experienced it feel comfortable. I mean, we've seen all different types of people with uh, religious aspects, some believe, some don't, but in the end, it, it's, it's, a, it's about knowledge. It's, it's the craving of knowledge we don't have, and I think that's the most wonderful part of the whole thing. So it's not something to be scared of, but at the same time, you know, people do fear it. I do find at certain times, it does scare me. Sometimes when I'm just sitting at home at night and I'm just thinking about certain things that I do end up getting scared, but then that fear also drives me to want to answer the questions. Because you do actually experience things in sleep paralysis. I've had that. I don't know about you guys, but I've had that happen to me um, once or twice in, in one location I lived at. And it's the scariest thing you could ever think of because you can feel yourself. You're, you're sort of awake, but not really. I mean, I wasn't able to really move the way I would be able to move during the day, but that it would feel like somebody was actually sitting on my chest or, or pressing into me and it's scary and I, I'm trying to shout, I'm trying to get my husband's attention, you know, whack him in the arm, do something to, to you know, help me. And at that point, yeah, it, it, it's scary. But it could also explain a haunting too because sometimes when people experience like something like sleep paralysis, it does seem like a haunting. I mean, at that point I could have sworn, you know, that was something sitting on me trying to crush me and it wasn't until I was able to roll on my side that I felt, you know, relief that I could breathe again. I heard a voice with my own ears at Fort Mifflin, and I can't explain it. Um, and that, that gave me pause, because the person that was with me in the room, we were exiting the room, he heard it too. And he turned and looked at me at, like it was me. And I was like, that wasn't me. <laughs> and I, I was like, I'm assuming that wasn't you. He was like, no. But we, I mean, we heard it. It was a voice, you know. Um, and I also saw something. Um, during an interview at a residence with the client, I saw something in the living room. I mean, it was a shape, it was a mass. I don't really know what it was. All I know is that I saw something. We investigated Fort Mifflin in Philadelphia. Uh, that was a few times we've been there, and it, it, that's, that's also an amazing place. We had, you know, we were chasing footsteps of soldiers. Uh, EVPs of things moving around and dogs barking. It's just so much, so much stuff that goes on at one time. It's just amazing. But we also do a lot of things with the community, trying to help out. Especially not, the now that, Yeah, now that we have uh, our numbers a little bit bigger than one individual person, it's a lot easier to help out the community. Like we're helping. Uh, Eckley right now with their Haunted Lantern tour so they can raise money for their own site. Uh, we've done stuff with the Hazelton Animal Shelter where we raise things. Um, we raise food and toys and clothing for uh, Catholic Social Services. So we're not just a paranormal group helping with ghosts and paranormal problems. We're a group that's helping everyone that we can.